All right, cowboys and cowgirls, we are learning how to mock up an app. And uh, sorry if I sound a little bit dorky sometimes, but I just find that students stay more engaged if I act a little dorky. Like, I'll keep students engaged even if it's at my own expense. <laughs> and uh, so I hope that you hear the good intent behind my dorky jokes. Next thing we want to do is we want to uh, add an image to this. And you remember that this canvas that we started out with of my project, and we go up to project and project, or go up to this hamburger menu and go to project settings. And, uh, and then in project settings, uh, I have portrait. I was thinking I might be able to see my project settings and tell me the size of my screen that I'm working on, but it doesn't show me that. Maybe I have to like select something else. I'm not sure what else I'd select, but. Uh, anyhow, it's uh, 360 by 640. We already learned that. And so if this right here, that little square, and let me bring up that square. So inspector, libraries, inspector. Can I inspect that? There we go. That little square is uh, 40, three, and it's 360 by 640. I need something that's 360 by 600 to take up the rest of this space here. So I need a picture that's 600 pixels 600 pixels high. And uh, if you go to Google Photos, it's a good place to store images. I have an image here that I like, and I'm going to download that. So I'll just right click it, and I guess that doesn't work. But here, download. And this is my friend Christina, who is awesome. I'm going to download that. She's totally kicking the pants, fun. I don't know where that phrase comes from, but it means something good to me. So I've got that image down here, and uh, you want to keep all of your assets organized. So I'm going to show that in folder and just get rid of these other things here. I don't need any of those right now or any of those. And boom, those are gone. But I'm going to create a new folder here. Right click, new folder, and I'm going to call this uh, mobile apps assets. And uh, we will drop all of our assets in there. And so this first one will be, um, you know, there's different ways that we could organize this. And maybe the best way would be by screen name. And so we have screens, and here's screen one. And screen one is this carousel. And so we'll call this welcome, not logged in. And so then over here, we will have a new folder. And so right click, new folder. And this is screen welcome, not logged in. And so I'll drop that in there. And then in here, I'm going to right click this. Well, I'll make a copy of it. And we'll call it uh, uh, carousel 01 original. And, um, and so we're just trying to get our assets organized so that when we pass off our mockups to the actual developer, that developer has all of the graphics that they want to work with. And so now I'm going to uh, copy this, just control C and paste it, control V. And this one is going to be um, 360 by 600. And so we're going to take out original and we're going to call it 360 X 600. All right. And then we're going to open that in Photoshop. Hey, where's open with? Sometimes you have to hold down shift. Uh, no, shift. Open, open with, there we go. I don't think I have to hold down shift, just open with. And do we have Adobe Photoshop? I'm going to choose another app and uh, more apps, because why would you want to use Photoshop? And always use this app to open JPEG files. And so now we're in Photoshop, and uh, inside Photoshop, first thing I want to do is go to Image and do Image Size. And I'm going to switch from inches to pixels. Boom. And the height needs to be 600. And you have this little lock here that says that proportions are being constrained, so I'm not changing the height without also proportionally changing the width. So my height is correct now. And I'm going to zoom in Control Plus just to bring that up so I could see it. And on window, I'm going to go into my info, bring up my info. And then over here, I have some settings and panel options. And I'm going to change from seeing everything as inches to pixels. Because what good would that do you to see as inches? 
And now I'm going to bring this in to 360. So I like it right about there to right about, well, that's pretty awesome, 342, 360, right there. And uh, maybe scoot that just a little, right? That's kind of a cool shot. And not get that part of the cannon because I can't get enough of that for it to make sense. So that looks good. Hit enter. And you get it that that's a camera? Or would it have been better if it was over a little bit more? Control Z and 360. Over a little bit more, be right about there. And 360 is. My last pixel's hard. <laughs> So just a little bit more of camera on this one. And, you know, lining her eye up, kind of that's the focal point right there from a graphic design standpoint. Um, I'm not sure which I like better. Do you have a preference? <laughs> no, no <laughs> preference. I think that's all right. I'm going to save it and go for large and hit OK. And then we're done with that. And then control, all, control tab back to here. And I could go to assets and new asset, and I'm going to go get my stuff from here, and there it is. I'm going to drag and drop that in there, and, uh, and then done. And then right here, I want to come over to this uh, carousel deal. And so uh, page controller, I'm going to open up. That's button one. That's not what I want. I want to open the carousel. And I'm going to uh, go for libraries and get an image and put that image there and then double click and we're going to choose that and select the asset and uh, and then that came in and I'm just going to move it down until it snaps because snapping guides are awesome you can see that's lining up nicely and uh, and then I'm going to save it and I'm going to preview this like a dog <laughs> my dog's in here with us and that kind of got truncated, so I'm not happy with that. And that's going to be something to fix. So let's go fix that. So I'm going to close this and then come in here and just move it out of the way and figure out why is this carousel at uh, only showing that bit. I think because I deleted those other squares. So uh, carousel, group, group one, and we have a rectangle, and we have that, and group, and carousel up here. Can we go into carousel properties up here, container properties? And we have a width and a height of 360 by 640 is what we want our height to be. So did you see that? I came up here to this carousel thing. I chose container properties, and then I did 640. And there's a little background color there. Just kind of let me know what's there. I don't know what export does. I'm not going to touch it. I think that exports my entire project. But now I'm going to save it again. <coughs> Excuse me. And preview that. And uh, oh, that didn't make it any better. It looks like it should be right. Maybe it needs to refresh or something. So I'm going to close this. Go back to welcome, not logged in, screens. That's my screen. And I'm going to grab this and bring it down. That looked like it'd be good, right? I dragged something. I'm not sure what that was that I just dragged, but that looked totally promising to me. And maybe this page has some properties. I'm going to right-click that and screen properties. And portrait landscape, nothing there. And then page controller, we have width and height. That's this uh, square deal right there. And carousel, it's carousel properties. Mm. Properties right there. And we have that 360 by 640, 00, zero opacity, visible, treat scroll container as snap, allow scrolling beyond container boundaries, enable inertia, enable pinch to zoom, show scroll bars on scroll. Initial horizontal position, draggable filters. Um, I like all that. So what we might also do is just go back to the dashboard and see if that reload thing works. And then go back to edit. 
and that looks better, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we could go to just save it and preview. And uh, awesome, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, that's what we're looking at so far. And we'll add a couple of buttons and a little bit of text. And I think that looks pretty good. I think this could be nudged up a little bit, but that's the general idea. And um, so to nudge that up, you can see that that text there, I'm not totally happy with where that text is. So we've got carousel, and there's the carousel, and we have everything grouped. So I need to go into this group and just select that text. And I wonder if I could do multiple selections. So controls, how you do multiple selections. You can see I got multiple selections there. And the reason that that's mislined is my picture's off a little. That's actually centered. So I don't need to change anything there. Did you see that, right? Like that picture's a little bit higher than that square. I just need to grab this picture and bring it down, get it to lock in. And now that will look better. So I wanted to do Control S, but that doesn't do anything. So save it and preview it. And now that looks more centered up there. What do you think, man? Good. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. So that's like getting started with Proto IO. I'm kind of digging it. I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing's all like when it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah.